Welcome to the show alongside Amber Dixon. I'm Randy Howe. The Sweet 16 is set after today's second round, and we just heard from former NBA star and national champion Thurl Bailey of that 83 Wolfpack team. He's going to be in to talk a little bit more hoops later. And former Rebel Charlie Hoffman, 18 holes away from winning the Arnie Palmer Invitational. That'd be cool. 300 miles from here was the Camping World 500 in Phoenix. Kyle Busch and Joey Logano back on the track <laughs> together. One week after that post-race scuffle, local driver Brendan Gaughan, he shared his love for off-road racing with us this past week. And the Southern Nevada Hall of Fame announced its class of 2017. We will tell you who's in it coming up. Sounds like a packed show, so let's begin with that tournament every year during March. March Madness gives us one big story everyone follows. This year it could be Michigan. The team who's playing slid off the runway on their way to the Big Ten tournament. The Wolverines had to play their first game in their practice unis waiting for their luggage. Well, they went on to win that tournament, get into the dance. They won their to Phoenix International Raceway. That is where Vegas native Kyle Busch was today, one week after a post-race scuffle with Joey Logano at the Speedway here. Look, thanks for staying with us. Let's take a trip now down March Madness memory lane. It was 1983 with a buzzer beater dunk by Lorenzo Charles. North Carolina State upset Houston. Thurl Bailey, number 41 here, was on that NC State team. And to kick off this year's big dance was in town, talking the power of belief and dunking. Tell me about this picture. <laughs> That's a great picture. Well, Coach Valvano. Coach is in the tournament currently. That remind you of him. You know, and in case you're wondering, Bailey is picking Kansas to win the national championship. Randy? Gennady Glovkin, a.k.a. Triple G, a possible future inductee into the International Boxing Hall of Fame, faced Danny Jacobs inside the squared circle at Madison Square Garden last night. This was a middleweight world title unification fight, but Jacobs... Gone, finished 27th in that Xfinity Series race in Phoenix. Yeah, but before he headed to Arizona, the longtime Las Vegas resident had his RCR teammates in town and on Monday shared with them how he got into racing. Before Gone ever drove on asphalt, he was... <laughs> Off-road racing, a sport his dad, casino owner Michael Gaughan, excelled at. You ever done anything like that? No, I'd like to. I, that looks like it's a lot of fun. Gives you kind of a headache. You need some good neck control. <laughs> Maybe next year. Have a good one. I'll see you next week. Gamecocks, the Gamecock, 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 Gamecocks, the Gamecocks. The testicles? <laughs> 